Now this piece, a replica of it, sits in my art gallery in downtown Savannah City Market. Um, I like the way this is arranged because it's not so formatted. It's not so formal. The keys are all uh, out of range. And she's holding everything together. So remember, art is subjective. So for one person, it may mean one thing and another another. But I like pieces like this because it creates conversation. And because this is a conversation piece, what is her melody? What is her song? Well, I believe her melody is more soft. And her song would be a ballad because of the powerful influence she should have on One more time. Okay, so this piece, it took me a while, it took a while for it to come together. So it started about a year ago and ended at the beginning of COVID. Uh, so it's of wallpaper clippings. Uh, it's of two people. They're together, but alone. So I remember doing COVID, that, that uh, stuck with me. That was a saying that stuck with me and I think it would be fitting for me to title this piece, Together or Alone.
So Constellations uh, has a lot of uh, Savannah attachment to it. It was one of my first pieces that was in a big screen movie, a movie on the big screen. Uh, it was in a movie called The Do-Overs with Adam Sandler in the background. I had another piece that was at the furniture store 24E that was in there also. So it all, not only was it a big deal for me, but it also gave me insight at, actually to how to penetrate the art market. There's mm -hmm. so many different ways. I mean, to get with an interior designer, you might find yourself, your, your artwork sitting in uh, uh, the lobby of a huge building in New York. You know, mm -hmm. so you never know where your things might end, you know. But just to have my, my artwork being shown on the big screen was a big accomplishment for me. Yes. So, I want to say majority of my pieces I do, they are intentional. This one... I had no intentions. I just know I needed to get centered and I wanted to paint. And this is what came about. Um, I know what the lotus flower means and I know what a queen sitting inside of a lotus flower means. And she has a rose, rose, uh, several roses in her crown and she looks centered, but I'm not certain if that was the message I needed to put. So it's really, again, up to the viewer what it means to them. So I brought a little St. Louis to Savannah. Uh, this is one of those pieces that I worked on back home. And it, what makes it special is my neighbor he was a woodsmith and he made a custom frame to go with the piece. So you can see the knots in the wood, you know, and he stained it. Um, he really customized the piece to go with heartstrings. So I, I call it heartstrings because, you know, some things were tugging on me to leave mm -hmm. my hometown and, and I keep it with me so it'll kind of travel with me. Uh, this is one from my personal collection. Beautiful. Because it, it has a lot of meaning to it. A, a sister of mine, a girlfriend of mine, her name is Cornelia Child. She's the owner of the Gone Fashion, and it's a lifestyle actually. But um, she uh, she's been to Africa a few times, different parts, and she brings back a lot of fabrics and she uh, makes fashion designs out of them. And uh, she donated some fabrics to me, and uh, this is what came about. Very colorful. I mean, Very I love the way this piece stands out. Even the arc on, on the, the tattoo on the back of her neck, it's just all, it comes together for me. I textured her hair because I feel it deserves it. You know? Always. <laughs> <laughs> but for this one, I didn't I didn't texture it because of the style of, uh, the technique of, that I use to paint her. You know, it's pretty flat, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think this one is bold. And it just deserves a little bit more dimension on top. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we have a lot of layers to us. We have to be vulnerable, you know, and exposed to kind of get to those layers. Mm hmm And uh, that's what it is. It's actually a rug that I handmade. Uh, my daughter and I, we would sit and watch television and, and work on the rug. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did an exhibit in my hometown of St. Louis, and I needed something with a pop of color to go with paint, some paintings that I was doing, kind of make a vignette, so to speak. And uh, I thought this would be very fitting to this exhibit because I paired it with this bodice and made a color out of it going with that, you know, I love working with fabrics and up, upcycling items that people would normally throw away. You know? Very rich and full. Yeah, and yeah. And these were scraps, just kind of, I have a friend who used to work at the Hobby Lobby store. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, 
people that I know they're a part of this exhibit, you know? Mm -hmm. they, they, they're a part of it because they either, either donated their time or money or just calling me and saying, uh, hey, keep it going. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is for everybody. You know, people, a lot of folks were involved in it. Yeah.